Hello and welcome to another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. I am the player who plays as the King Under the Mountain and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different I suppose. We're going to be showing a defending a pass for 10-20 minutes or so which hopefully will still be alive when we go up that way. Uh, in the meantime we'll go through the normal routine for these type of things. So as you can see I'm currently in Dagolat, uh, which is not where I was last. So just to give uh, a current state of affairs. Yeah, no spoiler alert, we've dropped down the leaderboard. I think everyone can see where this is going. Um, same name still at the top, pretty much. To be fair, Raven's done well to stay at second, considering what's been going on the last week or so. Also, this guy from Omus is flying up. Um, fellow's moved into the top ten as well. And uh, this is a fellowship production, so we've dropped quite dramatically. Same as debt. Uh, because our kingdom's been taking a little bit of a pound in the last week or two, so uh, that's currently the state of affairs on the fellowship production. Seller and uh, Ill have moved up a little bit, but really it's gods and youths that have, have moved massively back up in power. As for the contribution ranking, as expected, we are still in third place. Raven's pulling ahead now, and I can't quite keep up with Ogre. Uh, I keep trying, but I'm not quite there. So that's where we're at from that perspective. Uh, I'll just very briefly talk through the map, which has changed quite significantly since uh, since the last update. So, you to be in unaffiliated over here. Um, I think they're fighting hack over here as well, hack and demi a little bit, but not a lot. They're only small pins. The main pins, to be honest, around here. Uh, this one's only a four point six million pin. These pins keep moving as as this advance keeps happening. So, uh, that's a four point six million pin. This is where we currently are, and this is where I'll be focusing on the action. Uh, this pin was at 20 odd million in the middle, so it's kind of just moved around a little bit. Um, but no spoilers alerts, we still own the ring at the moment. From any of my thoughts, I can't see the ring anymore. Pretty sure if a couple of the other kingdoms looked around, they could definitely see the ring if they wanted to. So Yud has pushed uh, through the ring area into the Undeeps from this side took this cross in, they're currently setting up to take Celebrant, which is here, and Gods and Illil have pushed through the Undeeps here, and uh, and we're currently at this crossing, which I think people have been waiting a few hours for, uh, for them to start trying to take this, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I never do the rest of the map any justice really, to be honest, so we'll just have a quick look through these pins, Hack and Demi and SPRT and Avalon are, are kind of fighting around here. Uh, not sure what this pin is. Again, only a small pin. This is the main pin in the south, and it's it's a good sized pin to be honest. I think these guys have had had quite a lot of fun in the south to be honest, uh, which is good. As for our own fate, I think we're going to get pushed somewhere into here and here, and then we'll see where we end up from there. But um, that's not really something for this video. So at the moment, that's where we're at with the fights, uh, and let's just go and have a quick look how we're getting on here. So in 27 seconds time, I can resend. So this pass started to be attacked about 20 minutes or so ago, 25 minutes or so ago. 328k of siege left. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we were to look at this, quite a lot of siege has probably died. I've died a couple of times on there. Just waiting to, uh, to come back to life. I did get one siege army by the looks of things. Um, this is quite a good fight actually, to be fair. Uh, some some pretty good gear there, and we no longer have uh, have the buff either, only the ring buff, I believe. And then I got killed by Odin. On this one, I got killed by Loopy, who's a, who's a really really good, uh, really really good player. Got a rat here though, which I think has become more even since. Um, since the ring buff definitely so so that was a good fight but at the moment if we were to look at this i mean obviously there's a lot of things about timing marches here from siege because if you're anywhere on this tile you will get sort of taken down we'll march to the pass with a bit of a gap in between the plan here is to try and make it so that our mains are marching with a little bit of distance between them so it's quite hard to time a siege wave so We'll just go through some brief ways of, that we've tried to defend because I think it's obviously helpful to see this. So if we just look at the Fellowship PvP, hopefully on this crossing. 
Or is it, do you not do that this way now? I can't remember which way around you do it now. I think you press this and then it just fellowship, actually. I think it goes up the hit now or something like that. Here we go. So these are all main army fights by the looks of things. No one's hit any siege for a while. Danny's here. I hope the puppy's good, Danny. Um, so that's kind of where we're at here. Doesn't look like... Oh, there's a bit of siege been hit here. So they're holding siege back at the moment, it looks like. I'm defending it pretty well. These are pretty much all mains. That may have been siege by the looks of things. Um... Myths here, myths causing havoc as well. There's some nice fights going on though, in between. So there's plenty of fighting going on here. Looks like we got a goth mog there. Took out some mains and along the way. We'll just wait in this because hopefully I'll get a draw and not die. That way I can. Uh, that way I can recall and and fight again. Hopefully, so we'll just see what happens. There we go. So if I just recall before I die. There we go, I should be able to reinforce, so what did I get there? Scrubs of a couple of armies, pretty much. And one of my other forts is being taken down over here, I don't even know where that is. Ah, oh, not tiles. Ah, oh, the tiles fort's being taken down over at Celebrant. Like I say, this keeps being surrounded. We, we're really struggling to defend against two kingdoms currently. Um... But this is the current crossing wall, so we'll reinforce from here. The apt fort named the comeback, which I actually made a long time ago, almost like I could uh, foresee this crossing being a thing. And we'll reinforce the fort, and we can go again. So while I'm resending that, we've still got 300k. I, I think we'll probably get at least one reset out of this. Whether we can defend beyond that, I'm not too sure. We were, I believe, last night around here, but we just didn't have enough bodies to get through this fortress. Uh, once the fortress built, that is a bit of a problem. They have stacked up a lot of people here, obviously. We are kind of split, so there's a few that were in Celebrant that have been uprooted today. And then there's a few of us here that have kind of had to travel quite a long distance to try to defend. Uh, which is difficult when the, the pass is this side as well. Um... We are looking okay on barracks though, which is quite nice. So that's kind of one way of defending this. The other way that um, people were defending where they've been sniping siege with eagles from sort of around here and also trying to, uh, to get to the tunnel. So at the moment, it looks like they might run out of a little bit of siege because this was about a 70 or 80 stack. So we've obviously caught some siege armies along the way at this point. So I would expect at least one reset, I think. But as you can see, this is the attempt at kind of saving this. So we've got a lot of armies just come off there. These will be mains now, I would guess. So I'm about to hit something pretty spicy, I would think. We must still have something on here. Again, we'll try, if we hit something, we'll try and recall. Um, just to save our armies, really. Just so that we're not dead and we can keep resending. Because we're on full stamina, so... There we go. So if I just do that, hopefully no commanders are dead. That's good. We can speed recall, hopefully. Hopefully still have enough troops for a full fill from here. This will be the true test. Yeah, we still got a full fill from there. And then, uh, and then go back. So we can probably do this for a couple of hours, I would guess. Beyond that, we might struggle with some stamina. This is kind of a, an important pass for us if we are going to try and hold this half. Um, again, we'll just try and uh, send someone over here. Probably need get them back faster. Um, we'll just fly across the map. So we, as you can see, we are full on tiles, but that's because we've been taking 130s and 150s in our own... Um, in our own kingdom, just to make sure that our production didn't drop too low. I have lost a few K in production, but it's not as bad as what it could have been if uh, if I hadn't replaced those tiles. And that's what I was trying to talk about in a previous video, whereby it, it is important to keep uh, readjusting yourself and making sure that all your tiles aren't in one land, but also that you know spots where you can get tiles back if you need them. 
Barracks, like I say, is looking pretty good. The joys about Guardians is you can go for, you know, you can build 75,000 in a day, uh, which is nice. You know, it, it, it helps, particularly if you've got high production. Again, we'll go for the same route here where we'll try and record. We're quite fortunate that our fort's here, so that as long as we don't hit, uh, I think we might hit some siege here, actually. As long as we don't hit someone's main and die, we can keep coming back. This looks a bit CG. It'd be nice to hit some siege. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, I've definitely hit some siege there. So we'll keep going. There's another siege. This will probably be someone's main, I would guess. We'll probably sit there and, and take another hit, though. Hopefully it's no one big enough to, to kill me off. We're still taking quite reasonable trades considering... Um, there you go. So that was another army. Might be able to take one more hit, but that's probably a bit risky. So we'll probably recall. So, yeah, what I was... Um, I was trying to say about this is it, it's quite a good tactic, particularly if your fort's close, where you can keep pulling backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. As the defender, you do have an advantage. Um, let's just see what we got there while that was ongoing. So we got... It looks like Zhao's main, possibly. So we got a little bit of Evan's... Uh, I think that is his B team by quite a long way. Yeah, it is, yeah. So we got a little bit of that. Fortunately, we didn't get Zhao full because Zhao is always a, a full, really good fight. Like, really, really, really good fight. Uh, then we got a little tiny bit of siege there, and then I think we've got a full siege army here, which is a bonus. Yep, full siege army there, so that's good. And then it looks like we got one more army here. She was full guardian, so that was that was quite lucky. So we'll refill and go again. This is the joys of having stamina and troops at this stage. And I think we're just going to keep swarming in, really, and hope that at some stage or another that um, that we get far enough in front that they give up for an hour or so. It's obviously quite difficult to keep this amount of siege from their side, uh, but I do sympathise with that. The other thing, while, uh, while we're just sending back again, that I thought was quite interesting was there was an update that came out today. Um, so let me just try and find the update. So the update, I kind of got it through from the uh, from the WhatsApp messaging actually, that the update this week, and it seems quite an interesting one, is going to have a, a couple of really, really good updates. Um, and one looks like it says here an added tap to equip function to quickly equip commanders. That's a real positive step for me. Um, and I think it's really important. I think that'd be really, really good. So that's a good one. If that's just a case of you've got gear sets and you can just literally equip your commanders in a matter of seconds by pressing one button, that's a really good quality of life um, improvement. They've also adjusted Fellowship Squads from 20 to 40, which I think is quite good if you've got side missions for people, um, which I think is another good one. The other interesting one I found was Gather. So Gather, they've said that you can now gather resources from uh, from other people's land tiles, not just your own. So if as long as they're in your Fellowship, you can actually gather off theirs. Uh, I think there's another one as well that I thought was quite an interesting. Oh yeah, that was it. So again, wait list for uh, for troops. So you can now kind of double queue troops. So if you've got a full conscription queue, you can actually then line up another full conscription queue afterwards, which is pretty cool, I think. So you, you can now have sort of, for example, 10K guardians waiting. So if you're going to bed, you can set 10K before you go to bed if you've got enough resources. So I thought that was quite an interesting one. Um, the other one that I'll be quite interested to see, because I don't think they've worded it properly, and if this is the case, I think this is another really, really good one, that um, it says, after an army of mobs, which I'm guessing all mobs, is defeated, your other armies that have entered a draw with the mobs will immediately end the draw countdown. Now, if that works on our armies as well, I think that's brilliant, because, again, you, you can get out of that draw early and start reinforcing. I think that'd be a good combat um, kind of way of life, 
sort of feature that would be good. I think I've got some troops somewhere up the road. Yeah, I have. So again, I've got two forts within a fairly decent um, close range around here, meaning I can recall from two, you know, get full from from two different forts, which is quite important in this situation. Uh, I could do is send in someone who's actually probably have to make another formation. So when you're transporting troops, again, quite important to do it with uh, if you've got some cavalry, that'd be nice. So you're just making up anything with one unit in, because if then your troops get killed en route, only that one unit dies, uh, which is again quite useful. So we're just going to refill this uh, here. There we go. And we'll wait three minutes and then we'll resend. But at the moment, we should defend this at least once, I think. And this is where it's it's positive from our side because it's nice to obviously stop what has been a bit of a steamrolling for the last uh, three or four days where both kingdoms have kind of... They've, they've made an alliance, they've been pretty open about it and they're going to have a ring war, um, which is fine as far as things go. At least I think everyone knows where they stand with the server now. Um, so the likelihood is this will continue for the rest of the season, I guess, just to try and get some entertainment until they have the ring war. Um, confusing as to why there hasn't been a ring war yet because I'm pretty confident no one from uh, our kingdom has any range whatsoever at this point towards Dog Oldor um, which is quite amusing but there you go I can probably still see the ring because it sits above uh, Dog Oldor if I was on the highest point of something like I don't know um Maybe Brownland, somewhere like that, but that's kind of where we are now. All good fun. But yeah, the gods have definitely benefited as well from the 10% the um, kingdom buff in here, which we've seen hit us quite hard because we had it before. Uh, so it looks like we're probably going to defend this to a degree. Uh, that was the last two fights. So we got the end of one and then killed one main. Um, not sure how much siege they haven't managed to do a great deal of siege in the last 20 minutes or so probably about 40k and these are now mains coming in because you can see horses there is a little tip by the way if people are using um, two ways of countering it though so if you are using any of the alchemist style barracks you will see the troops walk forward with you see this little Uruk guy there you can try and disguise that by putting your first formation as one of the manish units, but if not, they they will appear like this. So you can so you can kind of tell siege to some degree from a way away, unless you know it was a player that perhaps came from evil side. Um, just a little tip along the way. So we we will continue to try to defend this. Um, like I say, quickly going back to the map because I perhaps didn't cover it in a great deal of detail. So. Without zooming in too far for pins. Although they're pretty obvious what the pins are at this stage. So, like I say, we do still own the ring. Yudes have come down from this side and through here. And they've burst for all here. So, a lot of debt's resources were in this area. Hence the big reduction. And they can walk straight into Fangorn. So, again, that's another big um, another big resource area. Which potentially, Yudes in particular, could enter from this side. Um, as you can see, there is uh, where gods have entered down. So gods took this because we actually took down the Ud's fortress. They were both building at the same time. We tried to take down the gods one as well, but we failed. Um, so gods are coming down through this way. Ud's are going down through this way. There isn't many other pins on the map between the two. Like I say, they're, they're fighting unaffiliated over here just to sort of keep themselves interested and keep the contribution up, I would guess. Um, and then, like I say, gods are trying to push through this area here, uh, which will pretty much then surround the ring. I would suspect once they've cleared this kind of area, they'll perhaps have their ring war. Um, but realistically, against 400 players, not that it's 400, actually, that's a bit unfair. There's, I think, seller a little bit less, probably. It's somewhere around about 300 to 360 active players, I would guess, across the two fellowships, uh, for two kingdoms. So we're going to struggle to sort of keep them at bay, particularly when they're so strong. 
So that's kind of where we're, we're at currently. I do need to move from here. I think I can move today, actually. So I'll kind of figure that out as I go. Looks like we can send again. Again, trying to keep March time separate to everyone else's, although I'm not quite full. So I will just make sure I'm full. Obviously, I didn't have enough troops in the top four. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, there we go. So we'll go sit here. And again, look, see the timing. We're trying to be about 10 seconds apart, so it's hard to time a siege wave. So I'm 1 minute 52 here. Probably shouldn't have set off when I did. I should perhaps have waited for this because there's a couple around three minutes. So there's a good one minute wave that they could get in here, depending on where they're marching from. Um, these numbers have decreased quite significantly. I'm sure they'll come back um, with the main soon enough. I think it's just the case of the reinforcing. I believe most of them are still trying to reinforce from um, from the top side of the Undeeps around here, I think, from this tunnel. So I believe they're still trying to reinforce from this tunnel here. Um, and to be fair, when we started defending, we did um, we did manage to take out quite a lot of armies from here. So that was kind of a conscious decision that we we knew when they were attacking that we'd be able to do this. Uh, we did get through quite a lot of people, I think, from memory around this kind of area, where we just thought we'd hit the tunnel and then we'll hit reinforcements and and that kind of stuff. Um, so that worked out pretty well up here. So it's been it's been an interesting few days to be honest in the server and obviously the maps changed a lot, but there's still plenty of fighting and I think it will stay that way for the rest of the season really to be honest. Um, oof, that was a heavy hit. Whatever that one was. Ivar the Boneless. So it was this cavalry build. <laughs> Uh, so we're out now for 10 minutes, which probably does us a favour because we, we didn't have any troops here. So uh, These tier two, two horses do actually do quite a good job. This is a really strong formation. Resource-wise, I'd still say we're probably doing okay, though, against them. Um, I think the theory behind the tier two, two marauders from memory, because I, I wasn't paying too much attention when someone told me about this. So that's a really strong formation anyway, irrespective. Um... I believe that the theory is that obviously they get the mounted uh, damage received debuff also, but they also get plus four initiative when destroying field structures, um, can gain certain resources. So one, you get resources from doing this, and two, you get a little bit of initiative. So it's quite interesting using the Marauders. And they've got quite good, uh, quite good HP and defense, to be honest. Actually, apparently not horrendous at siege. Who knew? Uh, but yeah, this guy's a strong player, so that was that was an okay -ish result. It's just a shame Danes died because I'll just have to wait ten minutes now to to reinforce. Uh, so it looks like we'll probably hold for at least this hour. Whether we hold beyond that, I'm not so sure, but we'll at least give it a go. Uh, let me see if I can reinforce from here. I can't, so but I can reinforce from there, so that's all good. So we'll go to here, and this is the good thing about two forts. I would normally recommend, I just haven't quite got it set up yet, because uh, I haven't managed to build it yet today. I would normally recommend three forts in an area, and then you can get all your troops in there, and um, it just works out quite well, to be perfectly honest. Bit annoying when, uh, when you're waiting a long time for them to come back. I don't know if I can create another... Oh, I can, here we go. Get a radar on it. So again, we'll transport um, dwarves up to here using radar. So if I had a third four, I'd arguably never run out of troops. I don't think, as of yet, I've upgraded it, but I probably can now. So I'll probably just speed upgrade this and then fill this four as well. And this one's a little bit further back, so this is what I would class as my 10-minute fort in a in a three-fort system. So 
And what I mean by that is if I was dead, this fort is far this fort is far of half half half. This fort is far enough back that if uh, if I needed to reinforce from ten minutes away, this one would be the one. I've still got another one, winning. Uh, let's go for Sestara. So again, one troop, uh, and he can deliver 12,000 Guardians to here. So if I was dead like I am now and I had 12k Guardians in here, I would reinforce from this one rather than my closest one and then restock this one afterwards because this would be my furthest waypoint. I don't need to reinforce any faster, um, and that would be perfect. So I tried to try and get two forts which are quite close together and then one that's a little bit further back. One for if someone got this fort, I've got a fallback position, but two because then I can rotate through and, and kind of pick up more guardians from them. I use it instead of a tactical fort, to be honest, because they're quite sort of costly, really, for what they are. And I don't really change my troops that often because I, I kind of run full guardians. If I'm close enough to my base, um, I will run... Can I get... Yeah, I can. Here we go. So if I show you my barracks, so I, I kind of convert um, tower guard mobs. So... I will use, unfortunately for me, the elves if I have to, uh, or the tower guards or the cataphracts, but I only really do that when it's it's close to my base. I don't know what my apothecary is at now. I'll probably clear that out, otherwise I'll forget as well. Invalid code. I've actually spent gems on a speed up. Unreal. Um... So we'll just pick up some more of these, hopefully some five minutes. There we go. And that's just from daily tips that have been saved up. Uh, so, you know, it's not costing anything rather than the nine gems it's just cost me. So we'll be full again soon and we'll be able to try and defend. I'm not sure what the overall is at the moment. 275, so it hasn't really gone down any. So I suspect this will stay the same for, for a little period of time and they'll wait for reset and then and then probably go again. The good thing for us is this uh, siege does build back up quite quickly now. So it'll be, as long as we're here and we're focused, this will be quite a hard fight for them, I would think. And I, I might try and record a little bit more of it later on. But this was just the update video with a couple of tips on how to defend. Um, equals are important with these things because you, you can kind of take out supply lines. Like here, for example, the likelihood here is, I mean, this is kind of bad, really, probably bad pathing from them. You probably shouldn't leave road tiles behind because even though the reinforcement lines are here, the likelihood is that at some point or another it will change the road. Um, it's good that you can see all these lines actually. So if we were trying to do it like this 12 second reinforce here, you could hit any of these forts at any time. And if you were lucky enough, you, you'd you obviously take out these paths. Uh, I forgot I earned that tile there. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of that. But So that's kind of where we're at with things. Um, I kind of wanted to just bring up where we were and... Um, where we're at with the season, I guess. What day are we on now? I suppose I didn't say that originally. This is day... Day 38. So things have changed a lot in six days. Um, which is kind of to be expected once alliances were made, I guess. Um, but plenty of season left. Plenty of fighting and a lot of fun. So uh, that's everything for me today. So if in doubt, always follow your nose.